a 360 video. Move your mobile device to look around or click and drag on your desktop. Enjoy. Milking a cow has never been easier or safer. Before the 1950s, people milked cows by hand. Advancements in technology made milking easier for people and cows. Today, many dairy farmers use computer technology to feed and milk their cows, manage milk quality, and ensure healthy animals. The key to quality milk is a good diet for each cow. An adult dairy cow will eat about 25 to 30 kilograms of feed and drink the equivalent of a bathtub full of water per day. The average Holstein cow weighs between 680 to 815 kilograms. This is a feed bunker. It's used to store a wide variety of livestock feeds, including silage, which is a blend of fermented crops like alfalfa grasses or whole corn plants. Feed can also be stored in vertical, tower-like silos. Farmers harvest the silage or crops in the summer and store them here year-round. Inside the barn, feed is mixed with grains, vitamins, and minerals before being transferred to an automated feeder. The feeder distributes a fresh allotment every two hours. Now this system helps reduce waste and keeps feed fresh. Animal welfare is a priority. It's the right thing to do, and farmers know that a content cow produces better milk. These cows walk around freely drinking, sleeping a lot, and eating when they choose. They also enjoy being massaged by this motion-activated brush. The brush keeps their coat clean and improves blood circulation. An adult dairy cow likes to lay down for 10 to 12 hours a day. The dairy floor is cleaned automatically several times a day. An automatic scraper pushes any manure through slots in the floors. From there, manure is stored in a manure pit like this one until it can be used to fertilize the land. Did you know manure is a great natural, nitrogen-rich fertilizer for crops? Like all mammals, cows produce milk after they give birth. Newborn calves receive their mother's first milk, called colostrum, because it is a rich source of nutrients, fats, and antibodies that protect the calf against common illnesses. Afterwards, a typical calf diet consists of cow's milk, fresh or from powder, until they are old enough to steadily consume solid food between 8 and 10 weeks of age. On this farm, calves live for a few weeks in hutches inside an old barn. Hutches look a bit like igloos and provide a safe environment where calves have a chance to develop their immune systems. After a few weeks, the calves are moved to group housing where they mingle with others of the same age. As growing females, they're called heifers until they have a calf at around two years of age. Here, heifers and dry cows, cows that are resting two months before they give birth, go out to pasture in nice weather where they'll eat grass from the fields as well as silage. Canadian Holstein cows produce an average of 27 liters of milk per day. Each cow wears their own unique identification ear tag. And one of the ear tags has a computer chip. On this farm, it enables the computerized voluntary milk system to collect data each time a cow is milked. So, the quality, volume, and temperature of the milk can be individually monitored. This data helps farmers monitor animal health. The tag is also used to trace the movement of animals, their ancestry, and history of cows in Canada. In a voluntary milking system like this one, each cow decides when she wants to be milked. When they do so, they walk to this room and receive a special feed. About 5% of Canadian dairy farms have adopted voluntary robotic milking systems. Cows are creatures of habit, so they often want to be milked at the same times every day. Cows are milked for about five minutes at a time, two or three times a day. First, the computer reads the identification tag in order to log information about the cow. The robotic arm cleans the cow's udder with disinfectant and water. A laser finds the exact position of the four teats so the robotic arm will attach each teat cup accurately. Once the teat cups are in place, a gentle suction encourages the cow to let her milk flow. Here, the computer tracks the milk from each teat separately, which keeps it from milking too much or too little. A cow will typically take five minutes to milk, after which the cups automatically come off and a robotic arm disinfects each teat. 
gates open to let the cow on her way. The robotic arm cleans each teat cup for the next cow. The milk gets transported by pipelines into a refrigerated tank located in the milk house and is picked up by a milk truck every other day. If you want to learn more about the next steps of milk's journey to your local store, check out the next 360 video on milk processing.